Welcome to Rust Tutorial 09. My name is a bit wise guy, and that was my horrific impression of a robot. Today's topic is variable size types. Um, so without further ado, let's get started. I'm going to start off by reading from the Rust book. And uh, I've already tried to read this like five times, and it just seems to be a tongue twister for me. So just forgive me. I'm just going to go through it. And uh, you'll, yeah, pretty much. And then we're going to go over to some code samples. Uh, we're going to do a little bit of theory explanation in this tutorial. Uh, and yeah, that's pretty much it. It's going to be a pretty short tutorial, guys. All right, so <clears throat> the book says, Rust also provides types whose size depends on the size of a pointer of the underlying machine. These types have size as the category and come in, un in signed and unsigned varieties. This makes for two types, I size and U size. Okay, so let's break down that theory just a little bit there. And I can't believe I got that through that so smoothly. Um, the other times it's been really painful. All right. <clears throat> Rust also provides types whose size depends on the size of a pointer of the underlying machine. Okay, so I size and U size are extensions of the primitive type of integer in Rust. So they basically extend the functionality of the I size, sorry, of the I32 and U32. Sorry, and U32. Um, and so this this type, uh, as far as I'm aware, currently only applies to integers. The book makes out makes it out like this will be extended in the future, and I really hope that that's true. But um, currently, it only supports um, integer types. Okay, so now that I got that point out of the way, all right. So um, the underlying machine, um, when they say the underlying machine, what they're really talking about is is your machine and is your operating system 32 bits or 64 bits. So is the is the version of your operating system that you have installed is that Windows 32 bits or is that Windows 64 bits or is that Ubuntu 64 bits or is that Ubuntu 32 bits? Um, what what kind of install do you have? And the reason that this makes a difference is that. Basically, the max size of a i32 and the max the max size of a i64 are different, and this is determined um, largely on the operating system's uh, capabilities. This this goes down to the fact of how much memory can the operating system address. So when we talk about addressing memory. What we're really talking about is how much memory can the operating system read. From in one single call. Let's call it a call. It's not really called that, but uh, for all intents and purposes, how much memory can the can the operating system address? A 32-bit operating system can only address 32 bits of memory, whereas a 64-bit operating system can address 64 bits of memory. When this when they talk about types and sizes and those kinds of things, it means it can address a 32-bit size or it can address a 32-bit uh, sorry a 64-bit type size. Okay, so that's what they mean by the underlying machine. Now, the Rust compiler, what it will do is it will check for the t it will check for the type of the operating system. Is it a 32-bit operating system or is it a 64-bit operating system? That is why that they call the category the size. So when they say I size and U size, basically that's why they're saying, well, this is an I size type or this is a U size type. It also comes in signed and unsigned uh, flavors, and we'll go into that into the implementation. Uh, which we'll get into right now. So, without further ado, uh, open up your terminal or whatever you guys are using now to um, to create new projects. Uh, as always, I'm still using Cargo, so if you want to still use Cargo, you can follow along and uh, Cargo will nicely scaffold your project for you. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to type in Cargo new uh, I size, we'll just call this I size underscore tutorial. Be good if I could spell dash dash bin because we want to make this a binary and we'll hit enter and uh, cool so cargo should have scaffolded our project now um, if you guys don't already know I'm putting up all these tutorial projects um, all these examples on my github which is github.com slash the open dev project and I'll put a link in the description below like normal um, and you guys can pull the whole repository down and uh, follow the code um, or read the code examples that we do live in these videos um, yeah hopefully that makes things a little bit easy for you guys Alright, so um, my editor, as always now, is Adam with um, Rust uh, Format, which does some type, which does some code checking and all sorts of stuff like that for me. Okay, so navigate to the folder which you're doing this tutorial in, and we're going to open up the main.rs. 
All right, so first things first is, let's put some variables down in our code. So we'll remove the uh, default thing that uh, Cargo puts there in, our, in its scaffolding process. We'll say let x i32 equal to std i32 max. Okay, so next thing I'm going to do is we're just going to print this out and then we'll go through exactly why I've done this. So we'll say x, we'll save this. And um, if you didn't notice already, um, Rust format has built my project for me. The reason it does this is to make sure that there are no issues in my code which is really useful when I'm doing tutorials because I might look like a fool uh, and I might have to go back and do a lot of post-production to cut out the uh, horrendous amount of time you guys had to wait. So what we'll do is we'll just say, uh, we'll cd into that directory. So we'll say I size tutorial and we'll say cargo run and there we go. All right, so it gives us back a number um, 214-748-367. Uh, sorry, 3647, my bad, which is the max size of a i32 bit integer. Now, what we're going to do is we're also going to print out the size of a max 64 bit integer so you guys can see the difference between the uh, max size in the types. So we'll say let y and we'll say i64 equal to std i64 max. Now, if you guys are wondering what the STD i64 and i6030, i6, sorry, STD i32 max and uh, i64 max is, uh, max is a, is simply a constant that the i64 um, uh, struct provides us. Uh, we'll go into constants in a little bit uh, later uh, tutorial. I expect in the next couple of tutorials, we will probably come across constants and actually using constants. But for now, um, just trust me that that provides back the max size of a 64-bit integer. All right, so we're going to head and print out the i64. So I'll say um, print ln like we normally do, and we'll say y. And I'm kind of just using my IntelliSense to write things out for me, so it's a little bit faster for you guys. And we'll go back to our terminal and we'll say cargo run and sure enough. All right, now we get this ginormous number, which is the max size of a 64-bit integer. And as you can see, it's significantly bigger than a 32-bit integer, as you would expect. Now, why wouldn't you always use a 64-bit integer, you might ask, Mr. Bitwise guy? Well, the reason is that um, some systems that don't support 64-bit, and believe it or not, in 2016, there are still a lot of systems that are running 32-bit um, versions of the operating system and are only using 32-bit processors. I know that's crazy. And for all of you guys who are programmers or getting into computer science and are kind of really into computers and stuff, you, you don't even probably remember the last time that you used a, a non-64-bit system. It just kind of comes naturally to you. Uh, Linux users, Mac users will be 64-bit... Um, for days, you know, we've all been on 64-bit quite naturally forever and ever and ever. But believe it or not, um, Windows is still very much pushed in 32-bit and 64-bit variants. Um, Windows 10, I don't know too much about, but I believe they're pushing mainly the 64-bit variant. Uh, but Windows Vista and Windows 7 were definitely pushed in 32-bit uh, variants. So you may need to target one or the other. All right, so now let's introduce the I size type. Now, this is a really useful type. What happens is that when, when Rust is statically analyzing your program, uh, which means it's basically just looking through your code and figuring out what is what and who is who and why is why and if you've done some naughty things and whatever else it needs to tell you, um, what it'll do is it'll look that it'll see that you've got the primitive type I size and it'll basically basically replace that with the correct 32-bit or 64-bit version of the type. This is currently only supported as I mentioned earlier by the integer um, primitive type but I hope that they'll extend that in the future. All right so let's go ahead and look at how that works. So let's go let z I size equal to std I size max and we'll save this. Okay, cool. And um, we've got one issue, which is that uh, we have not used the variable yet. So what we'll do is we'll say print ln and we'll say z and we'll save this. And our issue goes away just as expected. And I'm going to like push this out because it's kind of annoying me. I don't know why. It looks, hor it looks horrible. But anyway, so what we're going to do is we're going to compile and run this. So we'll say cargo run. And 
as you can, as you might notice here, although my uh, terminal has done some very interesting uh, printing out right here, the i64 and the i size are the exact same size. Now that's because my version of um, Ubuntu Linux is actually running on a 64-bit version of the distribution. So what the cargo Rust compiler, sorry, what the Rust uh, compiler has basically done is it's gone. All right, well he wants a um, an, uh, he wants a type of i size. Now the biggest type that I can give him. Um, given that he specified that he wants the size of i size to be assigned to the variable, is the size of a 64-bit integer. And this applies also to unsigned types. So let's go ahead and we'll use some unsigned types as well. So firstly, let's just, um, let's just do some quick things here. We'll say, um, let another size equals, uh, and we'll give that a type of u32, and we'll say, um, that's equal to std uh, u32, and we'll say max, and we'll say let yanny, because yet another instance, I don't know, something like that. And um, we'll say that's equal to u64, so the type is 64, not 63, and we'll say std u64, just like this, and we'll say max, and we'll save this. All right, and we get a bunch of warnings saying that we haven't used these variables and that's fine. And what we'll do is we will, on the next line, we will, in fact, I'm just gonna remove these just to remove the confusion. So we're only printing out um, this variable and this variable right here. So we'll say uh, print ln and we'll say another size and we'll say print ln and we'll say Yanny. And we shall save this and we get another bunch of warnings. So we'll get that in our compiler, unfortunately, which will make a little bit of a mess, but hopefully not too much. We'll clear the compiler. Sorry, we'll clear the terminal and we will compile. We'll say cargo run. And sure enough, we get the max size for a U32 and a U64, which is an unsigned 32-bit integer and an unsigned 64-bit integer. All right, so let's do the same thing, but let's do that with a U size now, which is exactly the same as an i size so we'll go back to our um, atom editor here and we'll just delete these because we don't need them anymore and we don't need any of the warnings that it's uh, giving me here um, so I'll just delete this and I've confused the editor just a little bit for some reason ah no I haven't in fact I've used um, non snake case and I haven't um, put in anything that says please don't make me use snake case which is bad of me I really should be using snake case so what I'll do is I'll just change that quickly to make sure the compiler is nice and happy with me all right that's that's fine and we just have to update this variable here another size just like that all right so what we're going to do now is we're going to say let um, my unknown size and I'm doing it again I've been working in C sharp heaps over the last couple of days, my unknown underscore size is equal to, and we'll say u size is equal to std u size max, and we'll save that, and we shall say print ln, just like that, my underscore unknown size, and we'll save this. And we get no issues, so that's awesome. That means it's compiled, and we'll say cargo run. And sure enough, we get the same thing as the max size of a U64 bit integer. All right, I hope that made perfect sense, guys. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe, it really helps me. I'm trying to get more features on YouTube for you guys, um, which they only give for certain sub counts. I know I mention this every time, it's really annoying, but unfortunately, that's just the way that YouTube works. Um, yeah, don't forget to like or dislike. Please don't like like it if you didn't like it because you know that really doesn't help me improve the videos and um, this isn't I don't make any money out of these videos really. It's just about delivering really nice content for you guys about things that I really love and hopefully to promote the Rust language more than anything at this point in time. So um, yeah, cheers and um, stick around for the next video where we're gonna go over floating point types.